Hi guys, Sean from SP here. I'm here today with exec chef at the Bird Hotels, Jamie Smith. He's going to be running through quite a few things. He's going to start off today with looking at kitchen essentials, why you need certain tools, and how to make your job easier in the kitchen. Hi guys, I'm going to run through some uh, kitchen basics that you'll need at home. So, most importantly, you need at least one knife, or I tend to use three different knives, but one good knife all around the is good. Uh, a speed peeler is very important. Obviously, if you want to cook quick meals, you need to peel vegetables quick. A tin opener we're going to use today because obviously we like to use coconut milk and uh, other tinned fruits and vegetables. So tin opener is important. When I cook, I tend to use a lot of spoons for all the different ingredients and also stirring stuff and tasting stuff. Another good tool for mixing ingredients together or stirring whilst cooking is a spatula. This is a thing a lot of people might not have seen, but it's called a microplane. It's a really fine grater, so it's good for zesting lemons, limes, oranges, but also good for mincing garlic or ginger, which I like to use in a lot of cooking. Non-stick baking sheet, again, another good tool because Bacon's quite a healthy way of cooking, and obviously if it's non-stick, then your stuff won't stick to the tray. Different pots and pans for cooking different types of things, either boiling or steaming. And then a non-stick frying pan. So obviously you only need to use a tiny bit of oil or coconut oil when you roast, uh, pan frying your meat or <coughs> frying your vegetables. And another tool I like to use is a char grill pan as you, you don't tend to require any uh, fats to cook on it and again can make it quite healthy.